Welcome back. Let's continue where we left off. Now, where was I? Oh, right. So tensions were escalating worldwide. The wars that resulted led to an increasing number of refugees. To handle these refugees, special semi-autonomous zones were established in the EU, the Asian nations, and part of Russia. EULI, the zone founded in southern Russia, was the largest of them land-wise, which allowed them to take in vast numbers of migrants. But these refugees were treated like cheap labor. Living conditions grew worse, and the region was soon home to gigantic slum areas. Anti-foreign worker demonstrations were rife across the entire zone, threatening peace and welfare in the surrounding regions. As a result, a certain company stepped in to help support the job market in the refugee zones. That company was Werner Noah Enterprises, the defense contractor giant. Once nations had to slash their military budgets after the Ulysses disaster, the private military service industry with its mercenary forces experienced a major boom. Also, thanks to the advanced automated aviation plan introducing enhanced computer numerical control to aircraft manufacture, it became a simple matter to rebuild previously existing aircraft designs. The resulting glut in available aircraft led to a new issue, a lack of pilots to control them. Hence why you now see mercenary groups cobbled together from dropout pilots. <clears throat> but I digress. The nations and federations overseeing the special zones welcomed Werner's support. In turn, Werner received huge parcels of land and a huge workforce to do its bidding. Soon the company expanded from its core military business into energy and space development. Their business had an enormous impact on recovery efforts around the world. And the localized conflicts began to simmer down. Now we come to today, 20 years later. The special zones have shown major economic growth under Werner's wing. But the huge weapon stockpiles stored in these zones have made them a breeding ground for armed extremist groups. These groups have formed a multinational network spread across the special zones. And more and more we're seeing them carry out anti-imperialist attacks in the nations surrounding Iuli. This has led the UN and the world's superpowers to label them terrorists. Which brings us to... Hmm? Are you awake? Sorry, you must be tired. We can pick this up another time. Following the Tokyo terror attack, the UN staged emergency inspections on facilities in Ayuli. They didn't obtain any evidence on the new UAVs we saw, but they did discover plans for an orbital weapon. Multiple nations are apparently involved in its development. The UN calls it a violation of space treaties and a new threat to replace nuclear proliferation. They're demanding the project be halted immediately. As a result, the chief military official at Werner has been forced out of the company. But this thing isn't over yet. In fact, it's just beginning. We've spotted a large squadron of unidentified transport aircraft heading for Area B-9K, an aerospace center in the West Indies accompanied by escort craft. The center was involved with the development of the space weapon I discussed. The nature of the cargo is unknown, but once we identify the craft as hostile, you have permission to shoot them down. Normally, this would be a UNF or USAF job, but given how tense things have been with Latin America, the U.S. doesn't want to pour any more oil on the fire. All in all, they prefer it if the media kept their focus on the Tokyo attacks instead of this. That's why they enlisted us privateers for their dirty work. It ought to be a pretty good payday for us. We'll be having our best pilot on this op. In Arrows, if you're a top earner, you get first priority over everyone else. You want money? You want fame? Then you're gonna have to outdo our ace here. Switch to an open channel and send out a notice. 
Well done. The Aerospace Center emerged unscathed. We're investigating the transported cargo right now. For now, this will remain a covert op. Now, I know you guys just went halfway around the world, but I've got more work for you. A group of nine high-powered executives known as the Gray Men have been kidnapped in Russia. We're talking elite members of the most exclusive circles of world economics and government. Meanwhile, terrorist forces have occupied a Werna military facility in Iuli, in southwest Russia. We've got armed insurrections around other Werna facilities too, and we think they're connected. So, we'll be heading for Russia.